When I found out about what I'm about to talk to you about right now, the first thing I said was the jokes practically write themselves. So in this picture, you see a man by the name of James D. Beeks, and he is a Broadway performer. And what's so funny about this is the character in which he was playing on Broadway and the act that he committed outside of Broadway that almost lines right up with his character. So this guy has more on his resume than just what he does on stage as far as performance for audiences every single night. And it's outside of his repertoire, but it's what he does on the back end. No pun intended. So the reason why this guy is a candidate for Triple P is because this James Beeks character was one of the people that attended the invasion of the Capitol back in January of this year. I think when by the time this year ends, <clears throat> by the end of this year, this is going to go down as the, the biggest event of 2021 not because of what happened but because it was the most talked about like you know some things happen throughout the year and they kind of fizzle out this is the only event that literally stayed in the news for the entire year and it was one of the first if not the first major thing that occurred in the year and it stayed in the news every single week for the entire year like you could not escape it and they're still talking about it Mainly now because, you know, at this point, all they're talking about is the people getting arrested and the people getting charged or the people getting sentenced and finding out how long they're going to be in jail at this point. That That's what they're really talking about more so now. But they're still talking about it. Like the other day, I just found looked at video footage that they just released of people getting in through the garage part of the Capitol. Like they released some footage from there, which is brand new footage that no audience or public um person has ever seen until that day so they're still releasing footage and they're still arrest making arrests they're still making charges people are still going to jail and that leads us to this guy right here this guy was at the capitol he was there he attended the event i guess he took time out of his busy schedule because i brought was very demanding and he found a hole somewhere in order to attend this event. They found him out and he got arrested. Ask me how I feel. He better call his understudy. That's all I got to say. But let me go ahead and read this article. It says, in a dubious example of extreme theater kid energy, James D. Beeks, a musical theater actor with multiple Broadway credits, has been arrested on charges related to the breaching of the Capitol on January 6th. The U.S. Attorney's Office for the District of Columbia announced on Tuesday that the 49-year-old Beeks, an affiliated of the Oath Keepers, has been charged with obstruction of Congress and unlawfully entering a restricted building or grounds. Now, listen to that. This guy is a whole Broadway actor, a black man who is a part of the Oath Keepers. Looks can be deceiving because does he look like someone that would be a part of that? I'm going to keep I'm going to continue. As of Tuesday, Beeks was still listed on the Jesus Christ Superstars U.S. Tour cast page as playing Judas under the stage name James T. Justice. That's the irony of it all. That's actually what made me really want to talk about this. The character he was playing in this particular production and then this news comes out about him. Coincidence? It's almost like he was playing... It was like he was playing that particular role in real life. Now, everyone has seen the movie Judas and the Black Messiah. We knew the Black Messiah was Fred Hampton and the Judas was that traitor. I refuse to call him by name. That was the perfect name for him. And look who you have right here. He plays the character of a Judas, of the Judas, in this Broadway production. And look at what he got arrested for. It's almost like it was art imitating life for him. He had to make sure that was for real, for real. 
Federal investigators apparently attended several performances of the Jesus Christ Superstar Tour in November in order to observe him in the role. Beek's Broadway credits include Kinky Boots, Aida, Ragtime, and Smokey Joe's Cafe. He is also a self-described top Michael Jackson tribute artist, according to his YouTube page. As a fan of the late great king of music, Michael Jackson, I think I speak for myself and various other Michael Jackson fans around the world to say that the king would not approve of this, even in death. To know that someone who is an imitator of him is engaging in such acts, such as this. Per the findings of a federal investigation, Beeks was part of the mob that attacked law enforcement as it pushed into the Capitol. He had previously paid dues to the Oath Keepers just two weeks before January 6th, so he just paid his, his membership fees. The report said, unlike many others around him who wore homemade body armor to the insurrection, Beeks apparently chose to sport a bad jacket from Michael Jackson's world tour. Listen, ask me how I feel about this guy. Not a thing. Not a thing. This dude is supposed to be performing on Broadway for audiences every single night. Singing, dancing, acting, whatever. And he decided to take and, and, and fox trot his self down to D.C., and perform a whole nother role. The role in which he was playing himself. The real James Beeks. Is where he decided to be himself. Back in January. And now he's getting exactly what he deserves. He can hold this L. And because he is a black man. No matter how he decides to you know, uh, live his life. They're not going to care about that. Cause I'm almost certain that this guy is probably in the Academy. I'm just saying, and it has nothing to do with his performance of being on Broadway. It has nothing to do with that before anybody wants to jump in and say that it is what it is. No, it's not. When they said he was a part of this show called Kinky Boots, that's what gave me the side out of him. Especially when I know what I know and heard about that particular production. That's all I have to say. That's the, if you, in case y'all didn't know, that's the same production that Tay Diggs was a part of at one time. And he was wearing that dress and that makeup and that wig. That was that play. That's why I said that. But they're not going to look at it from the standpoint, oh, he's in the Academy, allegedly. They're going to see, oh, this is a black man. And they're going to throw the book at him. And added on, he was a part of Broadway, so he has a bit of a name. He has some, I don't want to say notoriety, but he has a name. He was a part of this, this, and this. We got us a celebrity, is what they're going to say. We got us an actor. We got somebody we could say was there, and they were supposed to be here. Ask me how I feel about it. Nothing. I feel absolutely nothing. I almost hope he gets just as much more time as his PC counterparts. He knew he wasn't supposed to be there. But look at what he was a part of. He was a part of the Oath Keepers. That's who he was a part of. They said he just paid his membership dues two weeks prior to this happening. So this guy's... A whole Broadway performer while being a part of what could be considered a dub S group that he voluntarily signed up to be in. <laughs> like I said, the jokes practically write themselves. It really reminds me of the laugh now, cry later thing, because he was probably laughing during that entire thing. But he's probably crying his eyes out right about now. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments.